Temsirolimus is an intravenous drug for the treatment of renal cell carcinoma, developed by Wyeth Pharmaceuticals and approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration in late May 2007, and was also approved by the European Medicines Agency on November 2007. It is a derivative and prodrubib sirolimus and is sold as terizil. Mechanism of action, temsirolimus is a specific inhibitor of mTOR and interferes with the synthesis of proteins that regulate proliferation, growth, and survival of tumor cells. Though temsirolimus shows activity on its own, it is also known to be converted to rapamycin in vivo. Therefore, its activity may be more attributed to its metabolite rather than the prodrug itself. Treatment with temsirolimus leads to cell cycle arrest in the G1 phase, and also inhibits tumor angiogenesis by reducing synthesis of VEGF. mTOR is a kinase enzyme inside the cell that collects and interprets the numerous and varied growth and survival signals received by tumor cells. When the kinase activity of mTOR is activated, its downstream effectors, the synthesis of cell cycle proteins such as cyclin D and hypoxia-inducible factor 1A are increased. HIF1 then stimulates VEGF. Whether or not mTOR kinase is activated, determines whether the tumor cell produces key proteins needed for proliferation, growth, survival, and angiogenesis. mTOR is activated in tumor cells by various mechanisms including growth factor surface receptor tyrosine kinases, oncogenes, and loss of tumor suppressor genes. These activating factors are known to be important for malignant transformation and progression. mTOR is particularly important in the biology of renal cancer owing to its function in regulating HIF1 levels. Mutation or loss of the von Hippel-Lindor tumor suppressor gene is common in RCC and is manifested by reduced degradation of HIF1A. In RCC tumors, Activated mTOR further exacerbates accumulation of HIF1 by increasing synthesis of this transcription factor and its angiogenic target gene products. Efficacy In an international three arm phase three study with 626 previously untreated, poor prognosis patients, temsirolimus, interferon I plus or minus, and the combination of both agents was compared. Median overall survival improved significantly in the temsirolimus group compared with interferon I plus or minus group and the combination group. Further studies are needed to determine the role of temsirolimus in the first-line treatment of patients with a more favorable prognosis, how it can be combined with other targeted agents and a sequential therapy with sunitinib or serafinib. Adverse reactions The toxicity profile is based on what was found in the Phase three trial. Adverse reaction, fatigue, skin rash, stomatitis, hematologic abnormalities, hemoglobin decreased, lymphocytes decreased, laboratory abnormalities, triglycerides increased, glucose increased, phosphorus decreased. Temsirolimus has been generally well tolerated in clinical settings by patients with advanced RCC. In patients with RCC, the adverse effect profile of temsirolimus is primarily metabolic in nature, with minimal impact on CoL compared with the commonly seen side effects with oral multikinase inhibitors. Temsirolimus a Euro 1 registered trademark high level of specificity for mTOR likely contributes to the tolerability of temsirolimus. However, temsirolimus increases mortality in cancer patients. Lung toxicity Temsirolimus is associated with lung toxicity and the risk of developing this complication may be increased among subjects with abnormal pretreatment pulmonary functions or history of lung disease. The risk of interstitial lung disease is increased with temsirolimus doses greater than 25 mg, symptoms of which may include dry cough, fever, eosinophilia, chest pain, and dyspnea on exertion. Toxicity usually occurred early or late after treatment. Dosing the recommended dose of temsirolimus is 25 mg for infused over 30 euro 60 minutes once per week. Weekly treatment may continue until disease progression or until patients experience intolerable side effects. Although infusion reactions can occur while temsirolimus is being administered, most hypersensitivity reactions occurring on the same day as temsirolimus administration were not severe. Antihistamine pretreatment is recommended to minimize the risk of an allergic reaction.
See also, Discovery and Development of mTOR Inhibitors References